So let's open up our IDE and uh, look at a couple of our code igniter files. Here's our controller, which uh, we see is basically doing some of the login, logout functionality of the sample web application we made. Um, you can see that here's where I do a string comparison between logged in and yes, and that's inside our session, and that's how we know someone's logged in. And then we see if uh, there was any post, and in turn we put it into the database. So if you're not logged in, you're not even allowed to get into this area. Um, and so that's what we're really protecting. Here's our view, and this is where all the HTML is stored. And um, this is the form that we are basically overriding with CSRF. And uh, this is just the other uh, file that we had open. So what we want to do is uh, create a class to generate this token so we can call it basically from any file. And how you do that is go into uh, your libraries folder, create a new file. And I'm just going to call this auth.php. Um, remember the class has to have an uppercase. And take that code out. Um, so to start, I'm just going to copy and paste the top code in there. Uh, you have access to that also. And we're going to say class auth. So this is going to give us access to an auth object uh, inside any of our controllers in which we want to basically get a token from. So I'm going to start with uh, the construct here, off. And the only reason I'm doing this is so we can get the code igniter super object, because we need to use sessions inside this class. Um, and this is there's a couple different ways you can lay this out, but this is the one that I prefer. So that is our construct, which gets called at the beginning of every class. Uh, and we're just going to create a token function. So what we want to do is create a unique and random token inside this function. Uh, and to do that, we're going to use MD5 hashing, uh, unique ID, and the random function inside PHP. So we're going to do MD5 of a unique ID of a random number. And this is not something that I came up with. Uh, it's it's pretty accepted that this is a good way to come up with a uh, unique and random number um, along with the MD5 hash on top of it. <clears throat> it's pretty secure and we can we can pretty much trust that this is good. Uh, you may choose to use something longer, you may need something shorter, but for now that's a great way to generate a, a random token string. Next we need to set the session variable. Um, and we're going to put the token inside the session so that we can reference it, uh, reference it later, and make sure that the form uh, token is the exact same as the session token. And that's going to mitigate any external requests uh, to where no one has essentially stolen your uh, your cookies, or hopefully no one has done that too. So there's that, and we're just going to return token as well because we're going to be calling that from a controller. So we're done with the auth file and uh, we can basically upload that now. Now we're going to go back to our controller and first things first let's make sure that we can actually get a token from here. Um, as we know we're going to use this data array to pass back to our view and we're going to say data token equals this auth because now we can call that class. Remember that you have to auto load that class uh, or that library inside the autoload.php file inside the config library if you want to use it like this without loading it. Um, and we're going to load a token. So now once we upload this we should be able to go into our view and we should have access to a token variable and uh, Let's just see if we if we have that, and let's see if that's uh, that's usable. Let's load that. And we'll go back into here, and there's our token up top. And uh, we'll see that every time we reload the page, we get a different token. So what we want to do is we want to put that token into our form, and that's actually uh, very simple also. So let's see. We're going to want to use a hidden field. And all we have to do, if you're comfortable with short codes, and you want to use the code igniter, uh, the form helper here, which we tend to use quite.
quite a bit as long as it doesn't make things more confusing. We're going to make a hidden form field and it's going to be called token and we're going to set it with the token variable. And that is it. Now we should have a token inside our form. So let's reload that and view source. And there you go. Type hidden, name token, value is that big string. Now, remember, we also set that inside the cookie. So the way that we do this type of validation or authentication is that inside the controller, whatever we want to protect, we do this comparison between the form token and the session token. And that's going to basically say that, yes, we're authorized to make this post request and we're authorized to do whatever's inside, uh, you know, inside our code. So here you can see that if uh, this input post search is set, that's when we basically update our database. But we want to add one more layer to this. Um, it doesn't really matter where you add the layer as long as it's protecting everything. So we're also going to say if this let's see we're going to go to this input we're going to check out the post variable token and we want to make sure that that's equal to um, the session token session data token. Perfect. And now we're going to put all of our important stuff under, under that layer of protection. So I'm going to save that and upload it. And we'll go back to our application. And we should see that if we log in, we can type things and everything acts as normal. Now let's try submitting something from here again. Uh, that is not using that token. Here we go. We see that we search for exploit, but again, um, it didn't get added to the database because now we're on search eight, search nine. Um, if we go back here, we can uh, we can submit that again, and we didn't increment the database at all, and that's because we're not using that token inside this form. So that's really the basics of creating a uh, form token class or and, uh, you know the concept around adding a token to your form to protect against things like CSRF. Now remember that that's not the only way that we should be protecting ourselves. Uh, you know there, there's tons of different ways that uh, CSRF attacks are mounted. Um, one thing is if we can use uh, cross-site scripting inside the application if we're vulnerable to that as well uh, that can possibly navigate through the DOM and find that token value, which basically opens up, uh, you know, the application to an automated attack. So uh, check Sammy's My Hero MySpace attack for more information on that. And we hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for stopping by. Check out our blog at blog.primestudiosllc.com for more security tips. Thank you.